we'll get you, Batman. Oh, I mean, He-Man. Today's video was requested by DC Masters Collector, who has said, Whew. Masters of the Universe Revelation show, show and figure review, please. I can do that. Let's do this. Hey guys, me, Hosey Rizzo, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got, it's Skeletor. <laughs> as much as I've loved Revelations, it is a great TV series. I can only hear the Joker when Mark Hamill talks. I have to constant. as a good friend put it, Jacob put it the other day, he, he, I have to do the same thing. I have to watch the screen because if I don't, I just hear the Joker. <laughs> I have to see Skeletor with that voice to hear it, but if I'm just listening in casually while typing or something, it sounds like He-Man's having a fight with, with the Joker. So, for me, Mark Hamill's, a, you know, I think that's a testament to Mark Hamill more than anything. He is so iconic as Joker for me and my generation that I'm struggling to see him as Skeletor. However, still enjoying it. And the figure has such a nice, nice look. And this box art is awesome. So we have Skeletor today, guys, from the brand new Mattel Masterverse series. And I'm loving that artwork on the side, by the way. I really did enjoy the season so far. I've been, I have been told by several people, I believe there's more episodes to come later in the year. So we are only like a bit, like the first half of the way through. So very awesome. Can't wait to get more. So I'm loving these boxes, first of all. The inlays and that are very cool. And these figures are awesome. So I got these from smithstoys.co.uk. I am still expecting them to pop in, because uh, I, I did get um, a, f a couple of them from Comics and Cocktails, but they're nowhere to be seen. And these are readily available at Smith's now, so I've already gone ahead and bought these from Smith's. Uh, so I'm loving the Scepter, first of all. That is very cool stuff. I'm loving that with the big head on it. Uh, Skeletor himself, again, a very nice feeling figure. I'm loving the fact that we've got a cloth cape this time as well. Very awesome. Yeah, decent looking figure. Oh, the head do pop off very easily. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's good though, because it's a ball joint, so you can use that on for other things as well. Ah, like it. Yes, do the, does his arm go all the way down? Yes, it does. Okay, well, so we'll look at articulation in a moment, but there he is, Skeletor, out of the packaging. We have another staff there as well. And he comes with two extra hands. So at the moment he's got a fisticuff hand and a grab hand. Whereas he, they also give him a open palm shaky hand. And then a trigger finger hand randomly. I don't know. I'm happy with the ones I've got. I don't know why they would give Skeletor a trigger finger. Unless he's just sick of uh, sick of fighting He-Man with the regular stuff, and he's just going to pull out an AK for his hammer. Who knows? No, I like it as is. I like the fisty cuffed hand, and then obviously we've got the other hand open for the big staff. That's pretty much Skeletor to me. I don't I don't need another another hand. Um, let me just lift that hand up a little bit more. So I do like him to have the staff flat to the floor. Yeah. Awesome looking figure though. I am really impressed with these figures. The detailing on them is very nice So I like the fact that I know a lot of people are hating on He-Man right now and um, the new series I thought that Kevin Smith paid homage to the original but then wasn't afraid to go into the new but I thought the animation um, was respectable of the original and It felt like it just continued off where the original kind of left us so off the bat, I can see there is a little bit of warping on some of the plastic. So there is some like white specks here on my plastic. Uh, you probably see that better on the desk cam in a bit. But yeah, there is some warping issues going on. Articulation, the head is on a ball drape. You've got to be careful because if you pull that up too much, it will just pop off. Um, but you can make them look left and right, up and down. The arms do lift up at this side, uh, the side that <laughs> at the shoulder hinge there and do rotate. There is also double hinged elbows and the ball joint here for the, sorry, the biceps as well can rotate. Hands as well are on ball joints, which is nice. There is the abdomen crunch there as well, which gives us a lot of articulation and a further waist swivel. Legs do lift out about that far though. They don't lift out very far. As well as forwards, backwards, top thigh cut, double hinged knees there. There is a boot cut there and the feet are on rocker and pivot. They do have display holes. Should you wish to use a display base, that sun has just come out of nowhere. Ah, melting skeleton. I'll get you, He-Man. 
See, I grew up with the 80s cartoon. Um, I was far too young for it, but um, I grew up with it. And uh, I remember watching the reruns when I was a kid. And to me, the voice of Skeletor is like that one that I'm kind of doing. You know, the whole very whiny. <laughs> I just love that version of the character. Yeah. You'll never get me, man. So hearing Mark Hamill's voice, it is more it is more serious, but it still has that comical value. I think I think that's why they chose him. The Joker's kind of voice does match that character quite well. So I'm not, I can see the artistic direction as to why they've done it. I know a lot of people are hating on it right now. I don't get the hate on the series. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was very cool. But yes, Skeletor can't beat Skeletor. Very cool looking figure. So guys, let's head on down to the desk cam so you guys can take it up close person look at Skeletor. So let's go down to the desk cam. So guys, here he is out of the packaging. It's Skeletor. Finally happy to have this figure in hand. He looks awesome. So face sculpt on Skeletor is pretty decent. I do like the way they've used that sort of grey and, you know, the grey colours and things to really make the skeleton stand out. It's really cool. The purples are nicely blended with the blues, and it's just such a very unique looking figure and very cool. It is a definitely a modern take on Skeletor, which I love. Um, I love the fact that this series, like I've said, it pays homage to the original, but isn't afraid to, you know, may do something new with it. And yeah, I, I love watching the new series. I think it's been very cleverly done. I am looking forward to what, what they do next. And obviously we've got the Skelly God figure, which we already have reviewed, guys. If you're interested in seeing the Skelly God, you know, definitely check that out as well. That review's already on the channel. Uh, that, that was funnily enough the first one we got. Now, Smiths here in the UK have started stocking the Skeletors and the He-Man products, which is awesome. Because that means we get, you know, both figures. And it's before Comics and Cocktails and all the online retailers. Because, I mean, Comics and Cocktails, I've still got my pre-ordering with them uh, for a set of these figures. But I've, to, I've ended up going with Smiths. And I'll end up selling my other ones on because I just, they're readily available at Smith's now. And I feel like we're waiting a long time for a lot of products these days, which is definitely not down to the retailers. I'm not blaming the retailer whatsoever. Love comics and cocktails, use them all the time, as you guys know. It just seems to be a problem with shipping in general right now with the world, you know, the global pandemic and shortages. And oh, it's crazy what's going on right now. And it's causing a very big delay to all industries, especially the toy industry. Um, I hope that, you know, stock gets sorted out for Christmas, because I can imagine shelves getting ransacked this Christmas with all the shortages. But anyway, enough of my waffle. Let's talk about Skeletor, not politics. <laughs> <laughs> loving the figure, though, and I'm loving what they've done with it, like I said. The articulation is very modernised. And, he, yeah, he's just an all-round great-looking figure, um, you know, to use in, in your collection. I've left the one fist cloth, you know, fisty-cuffed hand and open palm hand, same as what I did with, with, with Skeletor. Uh, sorry, same that I did with uh, He-Man. But we do have a couple of other accessories. We do have the golden staff as well, which is cool. And then they gave us a couple of other hands. They gave us the open palm shaky hand. How do you do? And then they also gave us this other hand as well, which is like a trigger finger hand almost. I don't know why we've got this hand. What 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 do we need that for? It's like a trigger finger. So I've got no use for that. My only thing that I would like is after watching the television series. Um, yeah, sorry, I've just really... You can take the actual um, pole out of this, which is very cool. Um, so then you can just have it as the head as well because I remember in the episode Evil Lynn and that wanted them to go get this it was, it was like, like disguised as a chalice or something wasn't it and it turned into the head the ram's head so it's very cool that that comes off of the actual staff with a little bit of pulling it just pops back on when you're done but yeah it's nice that that comes off so that you can use that as another piece as well it's very awesome but yes guys what are your thoughts on this Skeletor? Let me know in the comments down below. But before we go, we have to stand them side by side yet again. He-Man and Skeletor, guys. Forever waging war in plastic and in its head here. <laughs> Very cool figures. They look awesome together. And if we just, just for homage sake, there's the original. 
awesome. I really do like He-Man, and I'm really glad that He-Man is back on our screens. But what are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've got any requests of what videos you want to see me do next, then please comment down below with your request for videos, and you may get a shout-out just like today's, today's subscriber. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. He-Man. And today we're going to take a closer look at Prince Adam himself. It's He-Man. A very cool looking viewer. The face sculpt to me doesn't look like the face sculpt from the TV show. It looks a little bit off. But I'll accept it. <laughs> um, I also want to try and find Evil Lynn and Moss Man. I would like those two as well, I think. And I am actually enjoying the Revelations TV series. I think it's very good. And I can't wait for the second half. Uh, I kind of mentioned all that in my Skeletor review. I think you should have seen that by this point. Uh, but yes, these, this figure is absolutely immense. So let's go ahead and break him out of the packaging without any further waffle. Let's go down to the dirt. Oh, no, what am I talking about? I have been recording for so long today. My brain has turned to mush. Here we go. Oh, yes. Yeah, man. I've been dying to open these. All right, so he does have a really cool shield on there. Then we have the sword. I was going to say the sword of omens, but that, no, that, that, that's Thundercats. <laughs> and he does come with two alternate hands because they've given him a closed fisticuff hand and an open palm shaky shaky hand. By the way, I call it a shaky shaky hand because it's flat palmed and looks like he's trying to, you know, I am Prince Adam, what's your name? <laughs> so that's coming straight off. <laughs> And we're replacing that instantly with the proper sword hand. Okay, so the other part, the other hand is a solid fisted hand, which we're going to be keeping on. Because then we can do that and push the hand through to give him the shield. So obviously sword and buckler is the way He-Man goes. There we go. So yes, very cool figure indeed. Let me just tidy up the desk here a little bit and remove these boxes. When we go down to the desk cam as well, I will put him side by side with Skeletor and all that good stuff. So you can have a closer look at both of them together. But yes, they do come with the alternate hands. Uh, they, have, they have given us, um, you know, grab hands for both hands, but I don't think that that's necessary. I like the closed fist on the one and then the grab hand for the other. Um, if I just remove these for now, though, as we take a closer look at articulation, so just like Skeletor, head is on a ball joint, and the head will pop off if you want it to. It's just on a ball peg, so up, down, left, right. You can also lift the arm up at this side hinge. It does also rotate. Um, there's also this double-hinged elbows here. The actual gauntlet on his arm does rotate, so you can rotate it with the articulation to get it how you want it. There is the crunch there at the abdomen, which is nice, and a further waist swivel. Legs do lift out pretty far on the He-Man one, as well as... Ooh, that's not gone back down now. Ooh, we may need to have a look at that. There we go. <laughs> Be careful with your He-Man figures, folks. <laughs> Today's show is all about the power. <laughs> so you can move them forward, backwards, top thigh cut, double hinge knees there as well. Be careful with your figures if they are a bit stiff like mine. Please be careful when rotating and bending for the first time because you can break them. Um, if you are getting like real resistance, like I can tell there that that's okay still, uh, but if you do feel some very strong resistance, I would recommend using hot water or the hairdryer uh, technique. That'll just loosen up the plastic and just make it more pliable, but don't do it too much because you can break it that way as well. Uh, further articulation, we've got the boot cut and the feet are on rocker and pivot and there are display holes in the feet should you wish to use display base. Not that you're going to need to, he stands pretty well on his own. So, He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. I do like the figure. I think it does look like the TV series a little bit. That face sculpt's growing on me a little bit, but he does look a bit, I don't know. Face sculpt on this one isn't the best for me. I wish it was a little bit more mean and, you know, mean and green. And his head does look a bit pin headed -y. The heads do look a little bit small. I thought that about the Skeletor fig. The heads do look a little bit small for the bodies. But I think that's the artistic design they've gone for on the TV series, in all honesty. Because they do look like that on the show. But yeah, um, the, other, the other thing... Um, 
You don't need to open up the second string, by the way, to push the hand all the way through. You can kind of just rest it like that against it. I find that just works fine, but you can open it up should you want to, but I, I don't need to. I'm happy the way it sits just like that. It's, it's strong to the arm and it's not going to fall off. And we can just attach the sword again to this hand. So yeah, nice setup. Love the figure. Very nice. So let's head on down to the desk cam so you guys can get up close personal look at He-Man. So let's head on down to the desk cam. Alright guys, so here is He-Man out of the packaging looking absolutely spiffing. Loving this figure so much. He is very nicely detailed. Loving the um, the paint apps on this. The, it does look very good paint wise. Uh, the face is just the one thing that is irking me so much. I don't think it looks like He-Man, but looks too pretty. <laughs> And I feel the head's a little bit out of proportion for the shoulders and the chest. It feels very pinheaded-y. But that can be literally my only gripe. And that's if I'm really, like, pushing it to choose something to, you know, talk about. The figure itself is beautifully crafted. Um, I am loving all the articulation and stuff. And the fact that we got, you know, the, the, the little shield, the buckler, and, of course, his sword. It's all, you know, classic He-Man. We can get him in some really nice poses and stuff. Um, when we stand the original He-Man with him, you can see the new height difference, so that's the old, well this is the Origins line, which is a replica of the original series, kind of, with a bit of modern articulation to him. And as you can see, if I stand them side by side, like, you can see the difference straight away. Um, you know, these these aren't your, these aren't your, you know, your, your standard start sized figures, even, you know, putting Star Wars at the side of them looks a little, you know, the Star Wars figures look a little small. So they have really beefed up He-Man to make him quite large, which is awesome. And, you know, I really think they've done a great job of bringing this character to life on, you know, in the plastic. So I'm also loving the fact that you can rotate the little, you know, the gauntlets and things. And, um, yeah, it just there's some, there's some great articulation there to pose him up, which is awesome. And, of course, it wouldn't be He-Man the Masters of the Universe without bringing in... So here are the two of them together, reunited in plastic for the modern age, giving all new kids, you know, life on He-Man, uh, you know, bringing the He-Man franchise back. Admittedly, this does feel like a direct sequel to the original series. It does feel like you have to have a little bit of knowledge, at least, to understand what the hell's going on. Um, but nonetheless, I can imagine kids today would see this new series and then could be tempted to go back and watch the originals. Um, you know, as dated as they are, I think they still hold up to this day. And yes, it's always fun to watch He-Man and Skeletor go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Whether it's the old style, the new style, the battle for Eternia will always wage on in plastic. But guys, what are your thoughts on these figures? Let us know in the comments down below. Are you a fan of He-Man yourself? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments down below. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. So, guys, what are your thoughts on He-Man? Let us know your thoughts, guys, in the comments down below. If you did enjoy today's review, then please enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!